In today's episode, Chef Kendra will show us how to make her delicious kosher Vietnamese pho using Prairie Street's beef meaty soup bones and beef chuck eye roast. This is Chef Kendra's bowl, okay? Let me taste. I could totally give myself a pat on the back right now. This is really, really good. Welcome to Prairie Street's Culinary Kitchen. I am your chef, Chef Kendra, and today we're going to Vietnam, and we're going to be making the national dish of the country, pho, using prairiestreet.co's soup bones. And beef chuck eye roast. Pho is one of the ultimate soul warming soups. It is a broth-based dish that has a bunch of accoutrements to it. You'll have beef, you have noodles, you'll have different kinds of spices and freshness to it, like herbs and whatnot. So good, we're gonna get all the way through it. But let's talk a little bit about the base of the pho, which is the broth. No broth, no pho, okay? We are gonna be using the soup bones from prairiestreet.co. You can go onto our new website. The new website is absolutely fabulous, prairiestreet.co, and order these guys up. The broth itself is super, super simple, but it does take time, and there are some steps to it. So we're going to be first cleaning the bones or purifying them, and I will show you how to do that. We're actually just going to boil them in water. That's going to release all the impurities from the bones. It takes about five minutes or so. In the meantime, we'll be roasting and toasting our spices. So let's get started. So while these bones may not look like much, they are jam packed with a secret nutritional powerhouse ingredient called collagen. You may have heard of it, especially if you're into bone broth and things like that are all kinds of helpful and super popular right now. Um, collagen helps out with things like our skin, our hair, it keeps us glowing and it's delicious. It also helps to kind of like fight off hunger a lot of times. So if you're trying to like be health conscious, soup bones, way to go, jam packed. So I'm gonna start by cleaning the bones in boiling water. Now, we want the bones to actually come up with the boiling water, so this was just set on top of the stove. I'm gonna place them in now, and we're gonna let them boil. Just enough water to cover them, maybe by like a couple of inches or so. Great. Now let's move on to the rest of our ingredients. So let's just talk really quickly about what pho does and what is in it. There is an ingredient in pho that our kosher observant audience does not consume, which is fish sauce, because there's things like shellfish in it. So we can very easily take that out and boost up the umami using some of our other spices. All right, so that's number one. Number two, there is a particular process to making pho in the more of the traditional way. One way is to clean the bones by boiling them. Check that off the to-do list. The next thing is to actually char some of our ingredients, some of our aromatics. So I'm gonna take our onion and I'm going to roast it over an open flame. Now, if you don't have a gas stove, don't worry about it. Get a nice heavy bottom skillet, which you might have, and just go ahead and put it in there. You can roast it all around. But I really wanna get some blackness, some good char on the skin of the onion. Now you'll actually notice what I did was I did remove the outer layer of the onion. So I'm going directly onto this because I really like the flavor of the char. If, you, if it's a little bit too much, you can remove that layer. Okay, so we'll just let this go around. All right, so our onion is just about charred to perfection. A couple of things I wanna point out about this. The reason why we do this is for a couple of them, right? So yes, like that kind of burnt deepness is totally characteristic of classic pho. It's one of the ways that they impart that flavor into the soup. The other thing that this is doing is it's actually condensing the sugars that are within the onion naturally. So that way we don't have to add things like sugar into our soup, okay? So it's gonna kind of impart a natural sweetness to it in a little bit. This is a process 
that of course you can speed up, you could skip over, you could just cut it in half and add it into the soup raw the way that it is. But like with everything that we do here at the Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen, we wanna show you different ways of cooking. And there are some recipes that use things like the air fryer or the Instapot where you can speed up the cooking process. But then we also wanna show you some of the classical ways to make dishes, especially ones from around the world that have really deep seated traditions in them. And that's what we're doing here today. So this onion is looking beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off and just set it aside. And I'm gonna do the same thing, less time though, with the ginger. So I'm actually leaving the skin on for this. This is a much quicker one because it is gonna also go into the skillet when I toast up my spices. In fact, I can just let that sit there and that one sit there. They're just gonna take two quick little turns and then that's it. Oh my gosh, and if you were here, you could smell this already. It is so delightful, saved so fast. And same idea, right? So we're kind of condensing these, the natural sugars that are within the ginger. Good, perfect. Done, I'll set that aside, and I'll set that one aside. Good. Now, if you can see over here, the cleaning of the bones is really starting to get going here. We're gonna let it boil for five minutes now. You can see all of this scum on top. That's what we're trying to get out of the bones. So, over a high to medium flame, right? You wanna know your own stove. I'm gonna add some fresh garlic into the pan. I'm just gonna toast these up, that way they, it deepens the flavor for the soup. Okay, I'll add in my ginger at the same time, because while the outside is nice and charred, I really wanna get those sugars inside to like, kind of wake up. Just a nice light toasting with these. Yep, and these are looking great already. All right, so I'm gonna let them stay there. I'm adding in my chili. How hot do you want it? Traditionally, it's not a totally spicy soup, but if you wanna, you know, kick it up a little bit of a notch, add in a little bit more. I'm just gonna use one, because what I like to do is I like to keep the broth itself a little bit more neutral, because at the end, there are all these really fun accoutrements, so that way everybody at the table can spice it up or mellow it out how they please. And actually you can see how perfect this garlic is. Just some nice browning, nice blistering happening. And the other thing is too, you, want to, you do wanna keep some movement on the ingredients that are in here because you don't want it to just burn or get too hot in any one spot. Okay, these are good to go. Now I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients. I have a cinnamon stick toast that up. I have a couple of clove, but I'm actually gonna add them in just at the end. So not every traditional recipe uses clove. I did add it in because again, we removed the fish sauce. So I wanna really take any ingredient that we know of that can add and part some umami to it. And the clove is gonna add that nice like warming spice. So I'll wait for that one, but totally classic, cannot go without star anise. Peppercorns. Now, I'm gonna take this off the flame, keep it above it, and just give it some swirl. I'm just toasting the spices, I'm not cooking them. The pan's actually already hot enough, so I'm gonna move it to the back because it doesn't have to sit on the flame anymore. Now I'm gonna add in my clove. Okay, that's it. So. My bones are ready to be dumped into the sink. Um, I wanna get rid of all that water that you know, has all the impurities from the bones in it. I'm gonna really get, get a good cleaning on the pot and then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna build the soup for you. So I'll be back in just a sec. All right, so our bones have been purified. Let's start building up our pho. Okay, I have our soup pot on with about a gallon, right? So about four quarts of water. So, bones in. Now, the other thing I wanna point out just really quickly about this, why did we 
take out all the impurities from the bones. It's because I want a clear broth, okay? So if I was to just, you know, throw everything in at once and cook it, you're gonna see this scum up at the top. If you do that, I mean, it's not gonna ruin the soup, but you can just kind of keep skimming it away. This takes that out of the process. Take out the impurities, less skimming. It's as easy as that. Okay, bones are in. Now, my aromatics. So I did take the liberty of cutting my onion in half. Um, the reason why is because I like a little bit less onion in my pho broth. If you want more oniony flavor, put the whole thing in. Totally cool. Okay, ginger, that beautiful charred ginger. Our garlic, our chili pepper, and then all of our toasted spices. Let's talk really quickly about salting. You want to salt in steps. If you over salt, you cannot take it away. You can always add salt in, but I highly recommend a coarse kosher salt. And I'm just gonna go about a teaspoon and a half to two teaspoons at a time. Okay, I'm going to let this come up to a light boil, all right? So I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be bubbling out of the pot. It's just gonna have some nice movement to it. And then I'm gonna reduce it down to a simmer, okay? The reason being is because I really wanna give all of these flavors a chance to marry and mingle, all right? The other thing about this broth is that it's water management, right? Like everything else we do. So about two hours, two and a half hours in, you're gonna see that the uh, level of the broth has greatly reduced and that's good because that means that that reduction, those flavors are like really getting at it. So I might wanna bring it up just a little bit to kind of mellow it out and then I'll bring it down a little bit more and you can kind of play with it, but you know, you do you. Anyway, I'll see you back here when my broth is ready and then we can build up our pho. It is time for real. Oh, I know, a cheese ball, but that's okay. So here we go. Oh. And the pho is ready. It has been cooking for about three hours on that low heat. I did have to add in about a pint of water, which is like 16 ounces, just to help bring it up. And then it came back down a little bit. So we have this really rich, collagen-y, super nutritious, very, very flavorful broth, all right? Let's talk about some of the sides and how to build our bowl. So we're gonna be using a little bit more of a Thai style where you use a raw beef. Um, because the broth is so hot, it cooks it as soon as it starts to hit it. So I'm gonna take just a few slices into my bowl. And I'm actually using some of our Prairie Street Duck Co. Chuck Roast, which makes like the best roast beef ever. So I have my beef, and now I'm going to pour my broth in. I'm going to, because I didn't separate everything, I wanted you to see how pretty it is while it's all floating about in the pot. I'm just going to make sure I don't get anything other than the broth into my soup. So I'm gonna hold this colander over top and ladle it right in. This way it catches like any of those stray peppercorns or anything like that. It's so aromatic. The ginger, those warm spices, the cinnamon. You know, another thing that this particular pho broth is so perfect for is for people who practice intermittent fasting because in the morning, the only three things that you can have are water, black coffee, and beef broth. So why not pizzazz it up a little bit with some of these amazing aromatics that are in here. So, and then if you're on the keto diet as well, pff, double bonus. I mean, it's so delicious. And again, so nutritional and it'll keep you full and it's flavorful, okay? Now, let's build up this dish so I can eat it in front of you and make you all jealous. Um, all right, so we have our beef in here. You can actually see that it has already started to kind of cook. We have this gorgeous clear broth. I'm gonna add some stuff to it. So I have some just plain rice noodles here. These are pre-cooked, that's very traditional. It's just how you would get it at the restaurant. 
they will loosen up and heat up in the soup. Good. That's in. Oh, my God, it smells so good. All right, some very traditional toppings here. So something really fun about the jalapenos is that you can actually control your heat level by how long you leave it in the soup, right? So you have the super hot broth. It's going to um, release and start kind of opening up those spicy oils that are in there. If you don't want it too spicy, just let them sit in there for like 30 seconds to a minute and you take them on out. I'm gonna leave them in because I love them. Um, I'm gonna go for some red chili as well. Some beautiful scallions on top. And then some shoots. Again, very traditional. You can see like how healthy this soup is. It's amazing. And then I'm gonna do some cilantro. Use down, use my fingers. I love cilantro, so I'm gonna use this whole thing. Give it a little tear. Beautiful. And then some mint. And if you have Thai basil, that like spicier basil, or even the Italian basil, total bonus. I have mint today. I'm gonna give it a little tear. And then lime. So lime is really great because of those beef bones, there is a good amount of fat that's being released into the soup, the healthy kind of fat, right? So this lime is going to cut right through it. And again, you can use as much or as little as you want. It's the nice thing about having all of this out on your, you know, like for people to choose and build because it can be very personalized. And there you have it kosher Vietnamese pho using Prairie Street's meaty soup bones and beef chuck eye roast. And now we taste. So I'm gonna just give everything a little bit of a stir. I'm going to pretend like I am in Vietnam right now. So part of my slurping, but it is totally fine and acceptable in Vietnam. Let me taste. Gotta say, I could totally give myself a pat on the back right now. This is really, really good. The, the flavors that are in here, the spices are subtle. Nothing is overpowering anything else. Again, those bones, that beefy flavor is like kissing this broth. It is so light, so deft. Our kosher pho by Prairie Street Culinary Kitchen. They're fabulous. So while we will see you every Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern time, I want to make sure that you guys really go on to our beautiful new website, prairiestreet.co. On the product pages, you not only can order the products like these amazing meaty soup bones, but you can also watch the videos. You can print out the recipes. It's awesome. And then you can also interact with us. Tell us what you like and what you wanna learn. Okay, we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Subscribe to our channel now and set your notifications so you don't miss our latest recipes and chef-led tutorials. Then head over to prairiestreet.co to shop for your next big meal.